It just doesn't stop everybody. How we all doing? Today we got a whole lot of problems. Uh, I'm afraid we have some good news as well. Yeah, but perhaps it might be a little reach. You see a lot of people are now saying that the Sony boycott might be working, but I, I genuinely feel like that it's a reach. I got two videos that I want to share with you guys as well. And we got Wokehammer, or I should say Warhammer, Henry Cavill, Helldivers as well situation. And, and they're also questioning, guess what? The Jiggle Physics. Yeah, they're questioning the Jiggle Physics. They're after the Jiggle Physics. But check this out. We are going to look at this post from the official Stellar Blade Twitter account to see what has people so encouraged. As I said before, this was Stellar Blade's first post since okay. the game launched last Friday. This hmm. is what they posted on launch day. A pretty generic tweet, as you can see. And then yeah. they went silent for a Yeah, a lot of people are also questioning the fact that they just, they just launched their game and they ghosted everybody. This is... Uh, yeah, that's like not normal, right? If you're launching a game, you should be tweeting like crazy, marketing, 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 get people to buy the game. And when you also have a game, like, I mean, damn, like, ah, damn, you feel what I'm saying? You need to talk about your game, right? But I guess Sony got them. A few days, and it's pretty easy to guess why that might be. Bingo. Yep, you guessed it. They were silent because of the censorship controversy surrounding Stellar Blade. Now, obviously, we don't know anything for sure. This is all guesswork, but you gotta hey. admit that it's pretty weird for a community manager to just go completely silent for five days yeah, after crazy. the game first launches, right? That seems pretty damn strange, especially when you consider that they... M maybe Sony kind of threatened them up with, hey man, if you talk, we're gonna lower your ESG score. May or, or perhaps Sony was like, hey, we're gonna give you a one million uh, bonus of the ESG credit right now and maybe they didn't want it I'm just trying to assume the best here maybe they didn't want it the ESG score so this is why they were like okay well uh, we're not gonna tweet today we got you Sony we're tweeting multiple times per day every single day leading up to the launch obviously when the game comes out they would want to be communicating with people but yeah. instead they shut up it's almost like they knew what was happening in the community and they're well aware of where their bread is buttered you got to think from shift up's perspective the anti-woke crowd is clearly on their side so they didn't want to say anything that might piss us off even more and now well, this is the tweet yeah. that they put out yesterday. It Yay. says, thanks to all our Stellar Blade fans for your passion and feedback. Stay tuned for updates. Excellent! Yay. Now, that might... And, and this is why a lot of people are now saying that the boycott might have worked. Oh. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, right? Like, but, but I feel like that it's a reach. Maybe that's just me, though. Because, yeah, that's, I, I've seen this clip here, right? Like, I, I've seen, like, other people cover this as well, and a lot of people are saying, well, look at them, they're about to uncensor the game, but get ready for the plot twist. Apparently, they're questioning the jiggle physics right now. They are trying to censor the jiggle, jiggle physics as well of this game, and uh, future game releases as well. We're gonna get down to that, but I feel like that it's a reach. The, the, the Stellar Blade is literally thanking the fans for purchasing. That's literally it. But I guess the part where a lot of people are hopeful I mean, if you're hopeful, that's good. I guess you gotta be hopeful, right? I understand that. Stay tuned for updates. So this is the part where a lot of people are like, well, look at them, they about to uncensor the game. I don't know, guys, when you got like Sony, I don't know, bro. Like... Might not seem like much, but there is a lot to unpack in those two sentences. They okay. specifically Let's mentioned hear. the passion and feedback of the fans in that first sentence. That seems like a fairly clear reference to the free Stellar Blade movement that was launched this week. And then stay tuned for updates could refer to either updates on the game itself, literal okay. updates to the game, or it could refer to updates on this Twitter account. But either way, it would seem like these updates are meant to be in response to the feedback that they've been receiving. I told you, yep. I told you. Now, a lot of us have been steadfast in our insistence that we can win this, and I am feeling at least a little bit vindicated after seeing this tweet. I mean, consider this. As I said, they were tweeting multiple times per day leading up to the game's release. They stopped right after the game came out True. and people True. could see the censorship that had taken place, and then after five days, they released yeah. this tweet. And then they started tweeting regularly again. Yeah! They tweeted. Yo, where? What? Eh? 
what? Where are you putting the head? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Atomic Hearts. Wonderful world and artwork has been a huge impact for us. Yay. A few more times after this original tweet yesterday, and by now, they might have even tweeted some more. What this yeah. seems like to- Guys, before we get down to the main event, real quick, I want to say I have a second channel, guys. Uh, on this one, we upload UFO videos, conspiracy videos every single day. If you're into that, definitely check it out. If you also have an Instagram, uh, feel free to follow. Links are always in description. All right, let's get back to, to the content now, boo-boo. To for me, it. is a company that was weighing its options and or talking with the bigwigs at Sony, trying to figure out what to do next. In other words, they have heard us loud and clear. Now, uh, Okay, on this one, I do agree. Per perhaps uh, and not perhaps like they definitely know what we want come on now dog like they're a billion dollar company that you're telling me that they do not know what we want nah come on bro like they have been making games for years years decades though decades and we never had any of this like bull squashing games ever till this decade right like starting this decade i, I would say like starting with uh the last was too pretty heavily last one look at that man stunning stunning brave stunning brave stunning stunning stunning, stunning. strong 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 independent independent yeah with, with the last of us it just went fully insane and right now it's just like going crazy as well and a lot of people are talking because a lot of people are seeing the writing on the wall and like i was saying i guess they're really mad and they want this game being censored because you look at eve and you can easily tell it's a she and apparently to them that's a problem Problem. they don't want you easily being able to tell if it's a man or a woman right yeah that's probably where we at at this point so i do agree with this uh, argument that they heard us they definitely heard us they probably had meetings behind the scenes as well and they're trying to think of a way to make sure they can also get the esg money and they also do not lose their trust of the fans at the same time but hey you cannot mix the two bro like <laughs> it just don't work and this yeah I, I wish i could say psych right now but guys it's the reality it is the reality reality but wait for it i'm of the opinion that this tweet indicates that they are planning to listen to the free stellar blade crowd but Hopefully. even if that doesn't end up being the case even if the pencil necked bureaucrats convince sony and shift up to bend the knee to wokeness i want us all to acknowledge that we have them thinking about it they paused their marketing campaign in response to our collective voice this yep. is a tacit acknowledgement of mm. our influence and spending power as a Good point. That's a good point. But I still, I'm gonna still stick with the fact that the 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 the, the, the fact that they tweeted this out. Mm, I, I think it's a reach for you to assume that they're this meant uncensoring of the game. I think that's a reach. But you know what? At the end of the day, that's all what we want. So if that happens, I'm I'm for it. I'm absolutely for it. And I do agree with this argument that. Pro they probably didn't tweet for that long because yeah they saw all this backlash right people don't want uh censorship but what about the j jiggle physics getting nerfed right we're gonna get down to the immunity in a second. Uh, I, oh it was a terrible mistake sir please oh believe me i would never do anything to offend a man of your size like i said this is a huge win for the community and we have to acknowledge victories like that when they come our way in order to keep up morale but i'm gonna leave it there what do you guys think about this situation does it sound like free all right let's actually get down to this one yeah take it away in Demion tv because apparently we got henry cavill being mad uh, or rejected uh henry cavill rejects woke ha uh woke warhammer we're not necessarily going to talk about that but we're going to talk about the jiggle physics though there's this farm simulator game called farm folks and before you say what does this have to do with warhammer trust me this all connects Anyway, okay. they decided to ask their fan base about jiggle physics. Originally, in <gasps> this tweet, it was about fish bowls and the jiggle physics of the water and such. Wholesome so far, right? Eventually, yeah. they asked, what about the jiggle physics of the female anatomy? And uh-oh, they made an oopsie. Now the right thing crowd came to attack farm folks and accuse them of wrong think, which in today's age is akin to being accused of being a witch and getting swish chalet on the open fire. Eventually, the backlash towards being sexist pigs for daring to ask about jiggle physics led to this developer having to issue an apology. Here's Damn. what they said, and I quote, Hey folks, we'd like to address a recent post where we came to our community asking for feedback. Our intent is always to connect and grow with our players, but it's clear that we really missed the mark on our recent community feedback post. For that, we all sincerely apologize. We had received concerns about the female player's model breast physics in the past and we thought we should ask the community what felt more appropriate. Unfortunately, this crossed the line. We try to foster a welcoming community and the post and subsequent replies made many of our community members uncomfortable and alienated. The okay. reply made about 150% physics was also inappropriate and we apologize for that. Aww. We are taking- Oh man. <sighs> Guys, they apologize, man. They apologize, bro. They literally- took a dump in your cereal and they're like we apologize 
<laughs> we apologize. It's it was a mistake. It happened. We're sorry. It's not gonna happen again. I'm dead right now, bro, because of all that dump that you took with that all all the you, you all the crap, bro. And now you're gonna be like, I'm, I'm gonna apologize for that, bro the necessary steps to learn from this and we're committed to doing better moving forward. We value the feedback of our community and work hard to include everyone in the discussion. We want to create a game that feels alive, which is why we pay close attention to every aspect of our world from how weather and time affect the world to the character's interactive presence within it. Okay. We want everyone to feel included in the game's development and we'll be re-evaluating how to best interact with the community as well as how to best ask for feedback from the community in the future. Your input is instrumental as we continue to develop farm folks. We'll keep sharing updates and progress on X and Discord. Your enjoyment and how you choose to experience our world is our utmost priority. Thank you for being a part of our journey and for your support and understanding as we grow. End quote. Oh boy, dear farm folks development team, you guys just committed one of the biggest cardinal sins you could have done when it came to your game's brand and identity. You apologize yeah, yeah. and then bend the knee when you should have standed proudly instead. Even the gamer Stacy Henley made an article about this controversy and brought in Stellar Blade somehow into the conversation, but Stacy uh -oh, Henley even agrees uh -oh. this misses the target audience. Look, the point here is that the people upset about those changes, they were never going to buy your games anyways. They just want you to facts. change stuff to fit their agenda and perspective. But facts, facts. Like, these things are just going to complain. They're not even gamers, right? The, and this is this is was, this was was uh, something that I was talking about yesterday, right? There was a guy over on Twitter. Uh, obviously, this is not him. This is my Twitter account. Like, whoa, don't, don't think I said that. No, 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 no. If you guys got Twitter, I would love to have you on Twitter. But there was a guy, right, on, on Twitter, uh, a million plus followers not a gamer and uh, apparently being mad about the game and there's so many accounts so many journalists that don't even play games that don't even care about games they hate gaming they hate gamers it just happens to be that for them to write articles on games is easier because gaming is huge it's big and uh and guys i'm sorry but i guess i'm not sorry for saying this because they realize that gamers are a lot a lot uh, really emotional so this is why they write rage bit articles and they know they're gonna get clicks they're gonna get emotional response from it they they know like gamers are definitely gonna be all over it for the most part gamers are just gonna annihilate everybody it's not it doesn't necessarily mean that the gamers are truly mad it's just that you know gamers love sarcasm banter and uh, everybody is like okay you suck you suck this suck yeah 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 you feel what i'm saying that's how the gamers are genuinely right but they're not like that in real life genuinely but you know on the it's like the internet meme culture kind of but they realize they're gonna get their clicks they're gonna get like all of the all of the oh, what's this called uh the, the this is how they're gonna be able to make the money and it's easy so guess what they do they just keep on rage baiting gamers and they make their demands million plus followers like that and they ask for the the games getting censored in this case now also asking for jiggle physics are way too much and it needs to be censored it needs to be nerfed now they're after the jiggle physics as well bro. like what the hell is going on bro what the hell is going on bro so uh, and the funniest thing or the saddest thing in this one is that these complaints are coming from non-gamers and guess what sony does guess what microsoft does they pander they bend the knee and they're like yeah well uh, you're you're right you're right you know what let's uh let's actually go ahead and uh, nerf it yeah just don't even make sense no gamer no true gamer was mad about any of that but they're like yeah let's censor it and now the gamers are mad and they're like uh, uh, uh we do not know what's going on we thought that you guys wanted this one no gamers don't want any of that no trust me even if you do that you're not going to benefit from those alterations in fact you'll just lose money goodwill and fans in the long run because these people do not buy your products and this connects to warhammer because what farm folks is doing here is what warhammer has done with custodians and all of that too you are not catering to your audience by doing this you're simply yeah. making things worse for no other reason than to pander and that's obviously not a good idea and like many people on twitter have been saying all you're doing is changing things for people who are going to buy your stuff anyways then man the camera angle was kind of crazy yo what, was, what were you doing there in Demion tv what were you doing there man? of course there's hell divers too which is what these developers and companies should be doing instead from games radar we have this article titled hell divers 2 is already one of playstation's all-time best sellers and it's yeah. all thanks to the pc version this information comes courtesy of video games analyst matt piscatella who gathered all the sales data regarding which games are doing the best so far in 2024 okay. to absolutely nobody's surprise hell divers 2 has become the best-selling game of 2024 yeah so crazy far. second was call of duty which uh, i guess third is uh, yeah call of duty is always gonna be right there but but you know the, the insane factor is that Helldivers cannot beat 
Call of Duty! Although temporary, although perhaps probably is, let's be real, probably is gonna be temporary because we're gonna be getting the next Call of Duty game coming out this year and that's probably gonna end up beating this game. Or maybe not, maybe not. Maybe it's gonna beat like next year, not necessarily this year because Call of Duty is gonna come out in uh, October. So we're, we're only gonna have like two remaining months and a few days. So perhaps it's not gonna be able to beat Helldivers because Helldivers came out a little bit early on in the year, right? Okay, makes sense. But next year, it's probably gonna end up beating it. But for this year specifically, the fact that it was able to beat Call of Duty and the fact that it was able to retain the players, because a lot of you fellas uh, in the comments would be like, yo, Skittle, you gotta try this out, man. Yo, play this game, play this game. You're recommending to me, you're recommending to other people in the in the comment section. You're probably recommending to your real life friends and, uh, you know, recommending to other people on the internet like on different videos forums uh twitter yeah like social media whatnot right yeah it goes a long way it goes a long way and definitely this game is killing it absolutely and the biggest uh thing about this game is uh, that the game is good right right that's what I'm hearing. I, I have not played it yet because uh, I'm not the target audience, but people are saying it's genuinely fun. Gameplay good, right? And people love it. And on top of that, you know, there's no politics, no woke politics, no politics either. None of that crap. And uh, guess what? It's a just good, genuine game and people love it. And they it's make money. Two and fourth is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But obviously, it's not surprising at all that Helldivers is doing what it's doing even months after release. And what's even crazier is that Helldivers 2 is currently Sony's 7th highest selling game of all time. And remember <laughs> friends, it only came out a few Sheesh. months ago, and this is comparing the game to stuff that has been out for years at this point. Yeah. So this is beyond impressive, and yes this yeah. does mean Helldivers 2 is here to stay and will absolutely continue to get support. And I genuinely- We're probably gonna get Helldivers 2, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping that we do not get Abbyzilla. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm just like... I get PTSD thinking of number two all the time, bro. I feel like every sequel is gonna probably get Abyzilla in it, and it's just gonna murder the main character. I really believe the game will change how live service offerings are handled in the future. Because like I said in previous videos, Helldivers 2 has no seasons or anything like that. Stuff just kind of happens at random within the game. Which obviously simulates the randomness of warfare, but it also helps keep Helldivers 2 in the conversation for much longer too. Because okay. it could be a random Monday night and suddenly some alien horde has burst out of the ground and we gotta kill them. Or a new pack gets released, or gun, or whatever. The point is, is that what they're doing is working, and then articles keep getting... Uh, does this game actually have... Uh, uh, eh, 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 do I have that? One second. I don't know if I had... I think I got it, right? I think I got it. But I was gonna ask, does it also have a... Friendly I, 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 I don't know, man. Because uh, you said packs, you said what? Made, and the online discussion keeps going. And what I think Warhammer and that farm folks game can learn from Helldivers 2 is that the game has successfully pushed back the nonsense surrounding it pretty much completely. Besides their community manager being a dummy, but she coincidentally quieted yeah. down following the incident because I'm sure the Arrowhead bosses just told her to stop. Also, listen- Yeah, uh, those of you, for context, right, those of you that do not know what happened, the community manager turned out to be a Wookiee and uh, for no reason whatsoever started blasting their fans like no yeah like whoa right because the studio arrowhead the one that made helldivers they were asked hey we need some rainbow flags we need we need flags in this game we do you need to walkify this game we need the dei we need inclusivity this and they basically said nope this is not a zone for politics we do not need it we just making games and yeah w good stuff but then the the community manager turns around and started like blasting gamers started hating on gamers we covered that not long ago and apparently guess guess what happens she had like all the flags in the in her bio and later on when, when she blasted gamers a day later or two days later guess what those flags magically disappeared from her bio <laughs> yeah just like oh god i don't understand i don't understand i don't get it why y'all blasting gamers uh, the community managers, like, think about it, right? Their job is to market the game, get feedback from fan fans, and deliver it to the, 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 the devs, right? They're like the messenger. They're also there to hype up the game, talk to gamers and whatnot. But these community managers do the complete opposite! They're like, yeah, gamers bad, gamers toxic, gamers this, gamers that. A and the devs are probably sitting at the studio. They're like, oh, man, here we go again. It's like they're putting the most amount of effort, community managers sitting on their ass, doing jack and just ruins the entire image of the studio like what that's insane so uh, moral of the story don't hire anybody don't hire anybody 
that that you know it's going to be a problem for your studio later down the road in the, the report the matt piscatella says that the pc has been instrumental to the success of helldivers 2 and without the pc release the game sales or or don't hire somebody that's not a gamer right come on man hire somebody that has the knowledge would not crack the top 20 so far of the year so that's a very big deal and good for them i think playstation and pc being sony's targeted audience going forward is a great idea Mostly because it means I get to play games with my PC buddies like Yellow Flash and my Discord member pals without having to buy a gaming PC myself, but stay on my console peasant side over here on my PS5. But it's clear that Helldivers 2's growing numbers are of course because the game is just fun to play. Which it is, uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. if I'm playing a live service game, it's probably pretty good, considering how I try to avoid those kinds of games if I can almost always. But again, it's because Helldivers 2 rejects every agenda, and I mean that in every way. Liberal, conservative, whatever. They don't care. None of that yeah. matters to Helldivers as an experience, and I yeah. like that a lot. No one group gets special treatment, and for good reason, because it would separate the fan base and just cause discourse. Just make the game make a good damn game and put your fans first. That's it. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yeah, like the video if you agree, awful. dislike if you disagree. Stuff like Warhammer and more could learn from Helldivers and it shows how easy it is to foster a strong community and make a load of money because you don't have to cater to every whim. If someone wants a pride flag cape and your other customer wants a MAGA helmet, just say no to both. Just leave your stuff at the wayside and let's go shoot some bugs and robots together and I love that. There's simplicity in the chaos and I think more games need to do that same mentality going forward. Because when you disrespect agree, your agree. main customer, you end up like the other examples in this video. I really don't understand why that's so hard to comprehend, just reject all of it. Full stop. Just make a fun game and keep all the real world crap out of it. Of course, most activists can't help themselves and will say things like, gaming has always been political. But let them yeah. keep that mentality. I'm sure it'll help them when their studios fail and they're living on EI instead. For the actual paying customers out here, like you and me, we're clearly supporting the things that don't hate us, and that's great to see. So it's just insane. It's just insane that most of the journalists that are writing crap about, like, hey, ew, 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 we need this, we need diversity, inclusive, we need that. Diversity is good, though, okay? Diversity is good. But forced diversity is not good. I mean, damn, bro, like, why? Why, 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 why? Right? Like, not every game needs a forced diversity, though. And not every game needs any, po uh, not every game needs woke politics either. Just make a good damn game and make it for your audience. That's it. But see, like, this is where we're kind of going right now because they're listening not to gamers. I'm talking about the companies like Sony, Microsoft, and the gaming companies in general, right? It, the way it feels like that they're listening to actuists, not gamers. When it should be the other way around, right? crazy man absolutely crazy but guys check out this video on the screen we had a uh, insane clip in this one not sure if you were able to catch it on time not sure if you were able to see it absolute bombshell report clownery <laughs> full-on check it out and i'll see you right there on the left this video is on my second channel yeah second channel guys second channel check it out and i'll see you right there